Happy Saturday, everybody. Welcome to another installment of Home Solution, the local area's only local home and garden show. Dennis Purvis here with you live and direct from the Mix 1041 studios. Hope you guys are having a fantastic start to the weekend. Good morning to you. Uh, listen, what, no matter how you're listening, we really appreciate you guys tuning in, whether it's as you're driving around this morning, uh, maybe it's uh, you're listening at home, maybe you are streaming online, or we forget the Facebook folks, all you folks on Facebook waving up there. Hi, good to see you guys. Um, we appreciate all the comments. We appreciate all the suggestions, the phone calls about who we should have on and different things we should tackle. And uh, we love those, man. We really do appreciate that. As always, we are brought to you by a company that's near and dear to my heart, Pro 93 Home Solutions, your local friendly neighborhood general contractor. And I'm partial because I'm part owner, along with my buddy Jesse Matthews. Uh, but listen, whether it's big or small, we would love to partner with you on any, any kind of improvement, addition, a new build, anything you want to do with your home. Give us a call. Everything from finishing a uh, maybe finishing a basement to a bathroom or a kitchen remodel. Uh, maybe you want to do a, a detached garage. Maybe you want to uh, build a new custom house. We would love to take care of you. So give us a call, 458-4135, or look us up online, pro93homesolutions.com. Uh, estimates are always free. Mark, my estimator, would love to come out and meet you. And we would love the opportunity to try to earn your business. And don't forget our clean team. We are very excited to announce uh, Miss Dalfina Tapke is going to be taking over our clean team. Um, uh, we thank, we want to thank Mary uh, Flaherty for uh, kind of filling in the gap here for us as we've been growing and going. And uh, Dalfina has come in and uh, we are excited to have her on the team and to get her uh, out and about in the community. We're going to have her on here soon, so that'll be fun. Uh, but Dalfina is a ball of energy, super fun, uh, and is uh, dedicated to not just cleaning, but just uh, to people and to relationships. And so if you need a maybe just a spring cleaning, deep clean, move in, move out, construction cleanup, whatever it is, uh, maybe you've got a small office here that you'd like to get cleaned a couple times a week, give us a call. 458-4135. Again, you hit that Contact Us tab at Pro93HomeSolutions.com. That comes to all of us. We'll get you on the calendar for a free estimate. And uh, remember, our clean team, we also offer a green clean. All natural products from Melaleuca. So if you've got anybody that doesn't like that ammonia, chlorine, pine saw smell, maybe they've got asthma or breathing issues, they just can't handle it, we provide all that with a green clean solution, all natural that is free of charge. It does not cost you anything else for us to do that. So if that's an option you want, you've got it. Uh, we appreciate you. So got all that out of the way, got our commercial out of the way. And I am super pumped to have a guy that I've got to know here in the last few months and got to hang out with a little bit. And uh, I can just tell you that, uh, I love his knowledge. I love what he does. I love how he conducts himself and I love the way he does business. I got the lovely, the talented, Jim Sartori from Win Home Inspection here today. How you doing, Jim? I'm doing great, Dust. Glad to be here. Thanks for having me. No, listen, thank you for, for coming in. Uh, listen, I think, you know, we're going to get into home inspections and kind of the knowledge base in a while, but um, I think first and foremost, let's just get the elephant in the room. People think the only time they really think about home inspection is when you're buying or selling a house. That is true, and that you know that there's a little caveat to that. It yeah. is, it is, and it isn't. I mean, the best time to actually have a home inspection is any time that you feel that there is something wrong with the home, especially when you're going to sell it. Uh, that's the real key: is get that pre-listing inspection done, so that you have a heads up before the home inspector buyer on the buyer's end comes in and tells you what's wrong with it, and then you have to at the last minute negotiate if you're going to fix it or if you're going to reduce your bottom line and that's what people and, and, and unfortunately i know for you and your and you know kind of the way you your business models is, that's something i know win has really tried to uh, showcase is not only through the different program products and pro, pro, programs sorry you guys offer but uh kind of innovation you guys have you know as a not just not just a local company, but a more national. And you just said it before we got on the air, international company. Yes, yes, they have all over the world. I mean, right, right here in the United States, we have over two hundred agents. Yeah, or yeah. two hundred thousand agents. That is sorry. <laughs> yeah, and listen, folks, it's it's um, you're not wrong to think about a home inspection when you're buying or selling. Now, let's 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 make sure we're being clear. Absolutely, if you're buying a home, you want a home inspection. Do, I know it, it's gotten super competitive here in the last few years. We've seen some crazy offers out there. 
And a lot of people are waiving inspections. They are. And that, to me, is the biggest downside. I mean, I've had so many people at the last minute say, uh, I don't need the home inspection. My lender's not requiring it. They recommend it, but they're not requiring it. We want to save our money for the down payment. And my biggest issue on that is that if the little amount you're saving on the home inspection could cost you thousands in the end if it's not picked up. Brother, you, as a contractor, listen. I'll go ahead and tell you, it's in my best interest for them not to do a home inspection because they're going to be calling me and I'm the guy that's going to get those thousands of dollars, right? However, I can tell you, man, like, if, you're, if you're rooted in a community and you're after relationships and not transactions, the last thing you want people doing that are your friends and your neighbors are throwing good money to bad. And look, I know it's competitive. I got a call this week from the daughter of a real good friend of mine that we've done a lot of work for. And she said, my dad says I need to call you. We bought a house and I knew we would lose it if we did a home inspection. Now the seller had told them that they had totally remodeled the house, but they had done all the work themselves, which I'll go ahead and tell you as a contractor, all my bells went off. Cause oh, I'm yeah. like, did it themselves. <laughs> that means it's not done right. Uh, it's why I love the DIY network. I love watching people think, Hey, they flipped that whole house, Jim, in 30 minutes. I could do that by the couple trips to Lowe's and Home Depot. And you just sit yeah. there and go, go ahead and try. And then call me on Tuesday and we'll come fix it. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so, folks, it's I understand the competitive marketplace. I understand why you wouldn't. But if, if this is a house you're going to live in and you're not buying it just for like a, a flip or a rental property or something that's kind of more, maybe more short term, if this is something you're going to have you and your family in, you want to make sure those floors and joists and roof come on, that these things are all in good standing working order. And if you haven't seen a home inspection, Jim, and I want to get to your story in a minute, but I just think there's so much people that, that don't understand about a home inspection. You're not just out there taking pictures of the crawl space and the roof. Talk a little bit about what goes into you guys going out and checking out a house. Basically, what we're doing is we're investigating the home. We are looking for issues. I don't go in a, into a home blindsided. I want to make sure that I try to find something, and it's my best interest not to find it. But I am going to take my due diligence and time to make sure that I cover the entire house from the foundation up through the attic space. The crawl space is included in that. There's many places in a home a homeowner is never going to go. Come on. Crawl space is one of them. They, they, they – Dread going in a crawl space. Jim, I, I, just on the off chance, there might be a snake down there I don't want to go. And I, I'm a contractor. I'll, for whatever reason, I'll go into somebody else's crawl space. But I don't want to I don't want to see mine. And that's what I get a lot of, yeah. a lot of the times. Like, yeah, especially the crawl space. I mean, I had a homeowner. Attic twos. I actually had a homeowner. He was selling the home. He had a, uh, the buyer did a home inspection on it. He didn't like the report that came back. Uh, the home inspector wasn't really thorough with him. And he just wanted a second opinion to make sure everything was wrong with you. I just want you to go in the crawl space. I don't care about the rest of the house. Just go in the crawl I've space. I've seen the rest of the house. <laughs> I ain't going in there. So crawl I just went, I went in there and I, I uncovered more issues than the other home inspector did. I said, did you mention this, this, and this? And I took pictures and documented everything and gave him a thorough rundown of the entire crawl space. I mean, I spent a good hour and a half in there. And I will tell you folks, when you get a home inspection back, we're not talking about a one or two page document. No. What, Talk about what, what, how many pages is a typical home inspection? A typical home inspection um, on an older home, you can, it can be between 20 to 60 pages. On a brand new home, then you're looking probably between 15 and 25. And, and that's a brand new home. Yeah, and understand, folks, this isn't, this isn't the case of somebody sometimes trying to pull one over on you. You know, I, I, you've heard me say it on this show a hundred times. Foundation-wise in Tennessee, there are two kinds of homes ones that have settled and ones that are going to you're going having a crack in your block having a joist that has slipped having a soft spot in your floor folks this am i wrong jim these no, are normal not. things they are typical i mean we're I, sitting on a grant we're not sitting on granite around here no you're not i mean you have all sorts of different uh, soil conditions you have in this area. I mean, I grew up in Massachusetts. I was a general contractor up there pouring concrete foundations. Yeah. So I know my thing when it yeah. comes to concrete. I mean, I'm doing the business up there for over 35 years, then I moved to Florida, then I was a, a state certified building inspector for the state of Florida. And Where they build on sand, folks. Yeah, sand, and you're in hurricane conditions. And then I just moved here roughly two years ago. 
And that's what kind of drove me into the home inspection field was just my background and the way I conducted myself and how I looked at homes around here. And there really wasn't, there's not too much of a difference between the homes here and then the homes that were up in the Northeast. Yeah. Um, besides the snow loads, that, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not a lot of snow catchers on the roofs around here. Huh? Exactly, and that's what drew me. That's yeah. what drew me to Tennessee. I was like, yeah, I just want to enjoy the weather that we do have here, which is, you know, it's pretty incredible. I'll but getting you. back to the home stuff, yeah. I mean, it's uh, yeah, I mean, a typical home inspection they usually take between two and three hours, and it's a thorough. We looked at over three hundred items in your home. Um, even looking at the appliances if they're installed, the refrigerator, your stove, your oven, your microwave oven, Folks, your hood he will, range. He will literally run around with a tester to every outlet in the place to make sure. Because on an older home, we've got a lot of got a lot of outlets that don't have grounds. Yes. That are two wires, not three wires. You've got the older GFCIs that trip a breaker every time they're touched. Or they don't even work at all. Or they if <laughs> and that's it, yeah it's <laughs> if they work at all. And here's the thing, those aren't expensive fixes most of the time. No. A lot of those things can be easily fixed, but make your house infinitely safer. So uh, before we get to the, we got a break coming up, but how can people get a hold of you, Jim? Uh, it's very easy. They can look at the website, do a Google search, go look for Win Home Inspection Athens. And usually I, I'm right there on the first page of Google. Uh, they can call me directly. Uh, phone number is 423-249-9699. Or my personal cell phone is 423-717-8662. And what areas do you serve? I serve uh, just north of Sweetwater, all the way down through all through Cleveland, uh, Georgetown to Benton. So, folks, if you're listening on the radio right now, you're in his market. So, if you're wondering, or you just want to get it, you want to get a house, give, give it a checkup. I noticed. I wonder, what do you guys call it on your website? It's the, the ho- uh, healthy home check. Yes, that is a new product for Win. Uh, we are the very first innovators of that service. And that is directed right towards the homeowner get your checkup an annual checkup on your home to get a heads up if there's any major issues that could be coming up down the road so it gives you time to save yeah and and to plan and to if you need to find a contractor be able to do that work and i think the other thing you can find out too is that jim's background kind of makes him a good person to talk to with this is how many times do you notice that people especially when they're thinking about selling a house they're not smart about the repairs that they do do because right. there is you're, there's some things that you can do that are not going to get you dollar for dollar True. in the market. True. And having somebody like Jim, who's got decades of experience, not just as a GC, but as an inspector now, you know, I tell people all the time, if, if painting is the first thing on your list and that's usually everyone's cause it's easy and they, everybody thinks they can paint. But yeah. now you're betting that you're going to pick the color that the new homeowner wants. Right. <laughs> when the reality is you could probably go outside and fix some of the stuff on the exterior, that curb appeal, that, that first impression. Absolutely. When they pull up in the driveway, that's going to get you a little more bang for your buck. Absolutely. And uh, right now we're, we have some really good deals for our grand opening this year. We're giving $50 off for all new customers. What? And we also got coupons, you got coupons right here on home solutions. And of course we uh, also are dedicated to our military uh, and our first responders. We give them an additional 10% off on top of the 50 on top of the 50 folks. If you're out there listening, we're, we're up against the break, but listen, if you're out there listening, you want to get your home checked out. You're even thinking about selling, or maybe you just bought an older home. Maybe you one of those people that did waive your inspection. You want to see what you're getting yourself into. Uh, maybe you're looking at an investment property. We're going to talk about that when we come back. They, we, they do commercial property as well. Folks, don't hesitate. Give Jim a, a call. I can tell you, you will not be disappointed. Uh, you may not like everything he has to tell you. I will tell you that about your house. But you're at least going to know what you got. And you're going to know what you need to do. So give him a call. We'll be right back. Don't touch that dial. We come back. We're going to talk a little bit about uh, Jim's background and uh, all the ways that when home inspection can help you. You're listening to Home Solutions right here on Mix 104.1 and 101.3 The Bucks. Are you tired of going to YouTube or Google for answers to your home improvement questions? Maybe you have more projects than you have time. No matter where you are in the process, Pro93 Home Solutions is ready to serve you. Pro93 is a local, veteran-owned company offering residential and commercial remodeling, cleaning, and security. Contact us today at 458-4135 or online at pro93homesolutions.com. Let the pros at Pro93 find the solution for your home or business. That's 458-4135. Welcome back, everybody. You're back here with 
Dennis Purvis, and Jim Sartori from Win Home Sol- uh, Inspections. Uh, you're listening to Home Solutions right here on Mix 1041 and 1013 The Buzz. We're talking uh, all things uh, local home and garden. Today we're talking about the condition of your home. We're talking about getting a home inspection. It's not just when you're selling a house. It's not just when you're buying a house. It might just be because you want to know what you're living in. It might just be because you think there's a problem and you're not sure who to call. Now, and, yeah, you can. a lot of people, I can tell you, you can call a general contractor. We come out and give a free estimate. And then what typically happens is people don't like that, and so they call somebody else to get a free estimate. And then you start thinking, well, these contractors, and I'm one of them, these contractors are just trying to get money out of me. So if you want an unbiased third party, Jim's not getting a he, – Jim's you're not getting a kick from anybody in town. Nope. It's – he he's got he's got and he's a state licensed yes state licensed uh, official to be able to come in as a third party and just say look I don't have a dog in this race I'm going to tell you about the condition of your home that's why you need a home inspection folks and it's not just when you're trying to sell that thing or when you're trying to buy that thing so Jim you talked a little bit about in the first segment but talk a little bit about your background I know you're from up north I love a fellow Yankee. My heart, my heart is just happy when you know what snow is uh, and not the snow that we get at 8 o'clock in the morning and it's gone by 11. Uh, but um, how nasty snow can look after four days. Yes, yes. <laughs> the dirty, nasty snow drifts from the plows on the mm-hmm. side of the road. Ugh, how bad. And, and we know a lot more about cars rusting than folks down here. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but, Don't uh, miss any of that. <laughs> yeah. Talk a little bit about how you got into the trades and what got you to this point, man. Uh, sure. Yeah, I mean, my history, it's, uh, it's a little extensive. Uh, my father was actually, he, he started out on a dairy farm years ago before I was born. His father came over from Italy. Long, that's an even further story. But anyways, he started as a mixer driver back in the 60s and started his first construction company in 68. Uh, wasn't even thought of then. <laughs> it wasn't until a couple of years later. Uh, so anyways, he went through a couple of partnerships, and the last one was in 1977. He founded General Foundations, a small little foundation company in Berkshire, Mass. And uh, I grew up pouring concrete and being a mason tender at the age of 10. So, I mean, we had he had a crew of about 20 guys at that time. Keep in mind, child labor laws were a little different back then, <laughs> and he was the son of the owner, so you're allowed to do some things. Go ahead. So anyways, I, I ended up working up through the ranks, through the ditches, so to say. <laughs> And I eventually, back in uh, 2000, I was I took my uh, contractor's exam and passed it, and I eventually took over the family business in 2005. And uh, yeah, worked right through it. A couple of years later, unfortunately, I lost my partner, which was my brother. And um, at that point in time, the recession hit, and a whole just a whole slew of things were coming against us. And I just got sick and tired of the New England weather. And so did my wife at the time. She ended up taking my two kids and moving to Florida and said, oh, you have your choice to come with us or stay up here. <laughs> <laughs> so I ended up selling everything and moved down there in 2011. I did a lot of different things because there wasn't any building going on in Florida at that time. Uh, so I did uh, work for a pest control company doing WDO inspections. Yeah. So, uh, they like my background in building, so I learned the pest side of things. And then I got tired of that and got into corrections. Uh, a lot of people were like, what in the world are you doing there? It's that, that was a good question on my part. <laughs> <laughs> I basically got back into construction a little bit, training inmates or teaching inmates how to pour concrete, fixing sidewalks and yeah. road work. I did that for a couple of years, and uh, me and my first wife parted ways. And um, my current wife I met in Florida uh, from New Hampshire. And um, we came out, uh, actually I was transferred out of corrections and became a state certified building inspector for the state of Florida. And I can tell you, I've met his wife, and she is a ball of fun, folks. And, uh, you yeah, know, I started out working for our, the city of Northport, worked for them for yeah. almost two years. And then a private company got a hold of me, made me a great offer, worked for them for another two and a half years, all down the west coast of Florida from Sarasota down to Sanibel Island. And we moved here two years ago, right before the hurricane. Thank God, because my house was still standing, but it was surrounded by water for three weeks. <laughs> And uh, they, they were just, they're still rebuilding down there from that. And I got into the home inspection business. I actually had a home inspection done in my home here in Tennessee, in Athens. And uh, the report came back. And I found more things wrong with that report after the fact. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I am not kidding. Is that what, I mean, it was, that's what kind of spurred your... And that was it. I was like, I cannot believe I got... And come to find out, I, I actually could have went after the home inspector for these repairs that I ended up doing, which yeah. a lot of people don't know. I mean, we are heavily insured to cover those costs if there is a problem that's found afterwards. 
And that, that's the biggest thing. We are. We're, I am fully licensed and insured in the state of Tennessee. Uh, so that if you do have a problem that is unforeseen, uh, but I mean, these, these problems that I came across were very simple problems. Um, like, for instance, all of my windows were sealed shut, silicone shut. Oh. So that inspector never even opened a window. Mm. And that, to me, is a big safety concern. Yeah. You got to have egress from the home. Exactly. What happens when there's a fire? Exactly. And that, I mean, that was just the, that's the most extensive thing. I ended up replacing all the windows, which I was going to do anyway, but it's just, I didn't want to do it right away. It I thought it, I had it. It made it a little more immediate. Exactly. You know, and that's, that's the thing about a home inspection is you get to know exactly what is up front that you should focus on. I mean, the windows is one thing, roof, I mean, all the major components, and that's pretty it. You know, your floor, everything else just falls into place. So that's kind of how I got into the home inspection field. Well, listen, so you, you come in with Win, and uh, you've got the office here locally in Athens and Cleveland, right? Yes. I actually uh, bought into the franchise back in October. Nice. Um, what intrigued me is it is a national company. They are ranked number one two years in a row. Uh, we have 14 offices here in Tennessee, three in East Tennessee, Knoxville, Chattanooga. Both of those have been here for 15-plus years, and there was nothing in the gap. And I and just so happened to be there, and yep. I said, and they said, hey, look, here's the territory we're willing to give you, and it looked great to me, so I took it, and that's where we are right now. And we are basically a one-stop shop, because when I say that, I mean we're not just a home inspection company. We do all of your ancillary services as well. So if you need a water quality test, pool and spot inspection, sewer scope inspection i mean there is a quite a variety of different services we offer well, let's let's get into that because that's what that's what i had next li- or here on my list is um i heard you talking uh, earlier this week about a water quality test yes why might somebody want one of those uh yeah, the water quality test of certain lenders for certain types of loans like a va loan va especially. and fha loans some fha is required as well they need that water quality you know water is a very important I don't mean you need a good drinking water to sustain life. And that's what we do with water quality testing. We take a, several samples and we send them off to a lab and we get the results within 48 hours. And I mean, that is it tests for everything. Your chlorine levels, your lead levels, your fluoride now, is levels. That a, is that, a, is that a something that's on a different scale? Is that a fixed priced item? What do you got? Is, am I allowed to ask? What do you guys charge for this? Something like that? Uh, that usually, if it's a standalone, it's uh, roughly around $250 for that. Oh, that's not bad at all. To no. Know, to know what's in, okay. Um, I see on here you've got uh, septic inspection. You just talked about the scope. Yes. Talk a little bit about what people are looking for. Why, uh, why, would, they want, why would they want that? That is another service that, that's out there. A lot of people don't know about it. Uh, basically what it is, we check your septic line from your clean-out to either if you have a private system to the tank or if you're hooked up to the city sewer, like some areas are in Cleveland here, we to the street. Yeah. And if there's an issue between that, we can actually tell you exactly where the problem is. I have a detection device that will pinpoint within a couple feet of that area that's damaged. Oh. If it's a collapsed pipe, Folks, if there's let, roots in it. Let me tell you why that's important. As a contractor, there's nothing more frustrating than knowing there is a problem, knowing you've got a collapsed pipe, knowing you've got a maybe a piece of old galvanized that is just literally just corroded shut. Um, and, it, folks, if you've got galvanized pipe, even in your drains, people think, ah, oh, it's not a big deal. Folks, I promise you, if it, that house is more than 20, 30 years old, there's a chance that there's not a pinhole worth getting through that because in certain, especially if you've got any bins, mm-hmm. you got any nineties, you got any elbows, being able to know where that is and to be able to pinpoint that folks, I don't, I don't care what that costs you to be honest with you with him, because for me to come out with a mini X for me to come out with some a skid steer or something and have to just explore your yard, you're looking at a hundred dollars an hour for me to have a piece of machinery plus an operator. If I've got enough, if I know it's between here and here, and there is a six to ten foot area that we know we got to dig in, you just saved yourself thousands of dollars of just getting to the problem. Because here's the here's the thing: nine times out of ten, the problem itself is not hard to fix. Right. You cut out the bad pipe, you cut out the clog, you cut out the issue, you cut out the bad coupling, you cut whatever it is, and you fix it. It's finding it. Uh, and, and, you know, with us, the closest we can get is that we do have a power auger and we can get you a pretty, we know how much, we know how much, you know, Shane is out. 
So we know it's somewhere down the line, 50 feet, <laughs> right? But we're still going to be exploring. It's still going to be hit or miss for you guys. For I mean, That's just an invaluable service just for people to save the money on actually getting that stuff fixed. Absolutely. So, uh, and all right. And this is another thing that I see that I see that you guys do that people don't. And we have a lot of it here. Uh, I know Calfee's well d- drilling has been around here longer than I, you and I have been alive. Um, but we got a lot of wells around here. We're fortunate around here because of our water table and, and you don't have to typically dig deep to find a well. Talk a little bit about a well flow test and why that's important for folks. Uh, the well flow test, I mean, that's a very simple test. Uh, I have a bunch of gauges that hook up to your exterior spigot and it actually will tell me how much pressure that your well's putting out and how much water it's putting out per minute. I mean, all those, those two factors are very important to if you want to take a basic shower or if you're going to be running water for a long period of time. Absolutely. I mean, those are the two things that really stand out the most. I mean, especially water pressure. Um, and, and people don't realize that it, it's the same kind of, same thing we were talking about with the septic is that depending on how old that pipe, because people, most people got that, that, that have well water, it's like you put it in and you just forget it's there mm-hmm. until there's a problem. Right. Until you go to turn on the faucet and it's dripping. Um, and, and you ha- you're going to have the same issues in those kind of older, so the older that piping is, the older that stuff is, the better the chances are that it's just corroded shut. I mean, well water, maybe we do have a pretty good water table here. We do have, we don't have a ton of crap in our water here, right? but there's still stuff there. Absolutely. That sticks together over time. It and, does. and it's that, that stuff. And I know you've seen it um, as an old concrete guy. There's stuff we've pulled out of galvanized pipe that I swear was concrete. It looked like somebody <laughs> poured a bag down the drain. Yeah. And, and people don't realize exactly how much that sediment builds up yeah. and how it affects every appliance in your home. For oh. instance, I have a slow ice maker in my, in my home. I didn't realize this until I took the owner's <laughs> manual out. It needs at least 20 PSI in order to yep. operate correctly. If, if you drop that a little bit down, Guess what? You got no ice. Yeah, and it's if you're going to have these kind of things, it's sort of it's sort of like you're you're uh, degrading other parts of your home that are going to again cost you hundreds and thousands of dollars down the line. Uh, one thing that I think is really cool that you guys do, and this as a builder, look, we stand behind our warranty. We we offer a one year warranty with anything we do on workmanship, and uh, um, as a builder, as doing a custom home, we provide a one year warranty. One of the things I think is really cool is you guys do that pre one year inspection. Yes. See, a lot of people, when they buy the home, they, oh, I got a one year inspection, but who comes out and looks at it? Yeah. Do you hire a guy to no. go out there and look and at when it? When that one year is, I mean, when somebody calls me, I literally have to, because I don't typically know right offhand, I got to go see, are they still in warranty? You know, because, you know, we've got a 90 day on certain things on, you know, kind of the wear and tear items, doors, windows, but everything else that we do is one year. Right. And to be able to, and we honor that. We want to stand by that because I want to set ourselves apart. But if, if you're finding yourself in that position, you know, it's 11 months, you closed on your house 11 months ago, you best be giving Jim a call. And Jim, before we get off here, how can they get a hold of you one more time? Uh, you can get a hold of me. You can schedule everything right online, www.athens.winni.com. Or you can always call me on my phone, 423-249-9699 is the office number. Or my direct cell phone is 423-717-8662. Jim, listen, it's been a pleasure having you today. Thank you so much for coming out, man. I'm glad we got to know each other. And I'm, I'm glad you're around here, man. We need some folks. Uh, people need help, and you, what you do is an invaluable service, man. Thanks for coming out. No, thanks for having me. Listen, give Always win, a pleasure. <laughs> give them a call. Give Win Home Inspection a chance. Folks, I hope you have the great rest of your weekend. Thanks for listening today. Until next time, remember, go home and love on your family. Love on your neighbor, and remember, we're all in this together. We'll see you next week. You've been listening to Home Solutions right here on Mix 104.1 and 101.3 The Bus.